Hey there, I'm Tesla. In this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, we're going to use a third person template and have a go at blending between two animations. So for this, it's going to be a walking and running animation. So this is done by using a blend space, which is already set up within the template. But if you would like to learn more about setting up animation graphs and blend spaces, I would totally recommend going to check out the Unreal Engine's tutorials. They have a great set of tutorials showing exactly how to set up a third person game from scratch. So again, this is essentially exactly the same as my sprint tutorial, but this one is focused on making use of the blend space and visually seeing the animation update. So let's jump right in. Okay, so in the third person template, if you come into the character folder in the content browser, you'll find the blend space. So if you open this up, you'll find that it has speed 0 and speed 375. So if I put my mouse just here, you can see he's running. If I gradually come in, bring it down you can see slowing down into a walking animation so we already have a walking animation set up with the um, template so how can we utilize this in game well I'll show you obviously if we jump in we are not walking we just are simply running and we have no functionality to make it walk so if we come to our character blueprint and if you remember the number if we type in max walk we get the max walk speed here. It was 93.75 for our max walk speed. So if we simply type that in, we'll be walking now. Okay, so if we, we can make it so if we press left shift and we, we want to get the character movement, drag this out and we'll type in max walk. We want to set max walk speed. So when we release it, it's going to be 93.75. We're going to copy it, paste it, connect the character movement up again. And we want the max walk speed, let's, to, let's say it's going to be 900. So when we press left shift, we're going to be running. And when we release it, we're going to be walking. So we're switching between those two animations there. But we can actually make use of that blend space so we can gradually run just like you see in the blend space. So we can start by walking and then bring it up and he gets to his max run speed. So if we come into the blueprint again, we can just use the timeline. Let's call this run speed. We're only going to need one of these, so we can delete that. We can connect to play to pressed and release to reverse and update to set. And we're going to open this up now. We're going to add a float track. Let's call this run speed. And we're going to change the length of this timeline to two seconds. So this is exactly like my um, sprint tutorial, but this is just based on the third person template. So if we press left shift and click, Make sure that's set to zero seconds. Now our walk speed is 93.75. So that's going to be our starting point. And then at two seconds, we're going to left shift, click, select it, make sure it's at two seconds. And we're going to put this at, let's say, 900. OK, so if we open it up again, we can see we have that rising from 93.75 to 900. Okay, and now we can connect the run speed to the max walk speed. So if we now use our sprint, you can see we're making use of that blend space. And we're not just snapping to the animation. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, just looking at how to utilize that blend space. Make sure you stay subscribed for all my future tutorials, and thanks for checking it out. Cheers.